Welcome to the Eric Cancer Symptom Awareness video series. My name is Jeremy Norton and I'm a longtime Ultimate Player and Coach. And I was asked to create a video to talk about three different questions. What were the first signs and symptoms that you experienced? When did you know that something was wrong? And what did you do about it? So when I was in my late teens, I was getting sick frequently. I was having flu-like symptoms, things like runny nose, cough, sore throat, headaches, something that being continually sick for a very long amount of time. And this was something that was very unusual for me in grade school. I almost never missed a day of school from being sick. So this was something that was, was uncommon and something that I wasn't used to. So um, after many visits to the student health center, talking to my parents, talking to doctors, trying to come to some kind of understanding about what was going on inside of my body and learn you know, what it is I could do about it. And one of the signs that when I knew that something was wrong was when I noticed that there were enlarged lymph nodes in my neck, above my clavicle, and an especially large lymph node in my right armpit. And these lymph nodes over the course of months were waxing and waning, which means they were getting bigger and smaller, but they were always there and always present. And this was something that was irregular and something that um, I addressed talking to the doctors, and after trying some uh, minimally in invasive tr different treatments, the lymph nodes were still there, and we decided that a biopsy needed to be taken um, to understand exactly you know, what was causing me to be sick, what was causing me to have a lower level of energy overall, and this was especially clear athletically where I could feel that we were in the peak of the season, I was training harder and harder, and yet every week that my endurance was slipping and getting worse and worse. So it's clearly something that was, again, abnormal and was able to speak up and talk to teammates about it, but it really wasn't until we got the biopsy back that it was clear that this was diffuse large, non-Hodgkin's diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, which was causing the enlarged lymph nodes and causing my body to uh, reduce the amount of red blood cells and a whole host of other problems um, internally but the luckily this was a very treatable form of cancer and we were able to start a intensive chemotherapy series which was successful and I've been in remission for six years now and I want to take an, the opportunity to encourage everybody to to be active and to be you know by being active you know your body and to be prepared and know about some of the general signs and symptoms of cancer and um, you know, be, so to be active and be prepared and be aware of both yourself and those around you. So when something is wrong or you notice something in a friends or family, to speak up and tell somebody about it and engage in that conversation, which can be difficult at times, but you could save both your own life or the lives of loved ones around you. So. Please support Eric and thank you for listening.